So here's our yo-yo. So we go ahead and yo-yo this. And this is a play. It's still power. You can see the 35 is still on there. But we call a tight yo-yo. And we call this play 35. And then to help the kids, um, we, we ended up putting, um, tagging the word counter on it. Because usually when we counter, it's the tackle and the tight end that pull. But whenever they heard yo-yo, they knew it was going to be the tight end and the R or the tight end and the L. But it was going to be a tight end and a wing back. And when we had counter, it, whenever yo-yo was involved, they knew that uh, only the tight end and the wing back were doing all of the pulling. So here's a situation where we still want to run power, but we want to give it a different canvas. We want to make it look different. So in this set here, and we... We started off by having the, the the tail back, the three back over here to the left. We ended up not light. It just didn't, our kids just didn't, uh, the timing, the mesh, they weren't comfortable. So we put them back behind the quarterback. This is how it was. And they were to just to make a nice one little small shuffle step towards the QB and then hit it. Well, our guys, uh, for lack of better words, I mean, that just they just weren't comfortable. Our guys want to run straight as fast as they can, and we, you know, we have a 210 pound three back, and we also have a 180 pound three back that's really fast, and then we have that 210 pound kid that just, you know, hit things that move, and um, so we moved them back here so they could just run straight, and uh, we had a lot of success. But anyways, everything's the same as apply. We're going to go down, 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 down. Everybody's blocking down. We're going to kick out with the with the wing back. So in this case, it's the R. He's going to come across the formation. That's why we inline him a little bit so he's super fast to get to the point of attack. Because a, a lot of times, as soon as this tackle goes down, ends will crash. But sometimes they have to get up, uh, get up field a little bit. And uh, then we our kick really works well. But we'll take this wing back, and he kicks out, and then we and in. And that's the same thing that he does in our regular 43 and 24 counter, uh, except his buddy is the tackle that pulls with him. So he's doing the same thing. He's doing the same thing that he's used to doing. And so we kick out here, and then we run the tight end up. We'll double team to middle backer. We leave the end alone. We get up field. Now, if this end stays inside or heads up and he decides to make the decision that he's going to smash him down, he goes ahead and does that. And we've trained this kid, and this kid was really a uh, talented boy upstairs, and he would come through. If there was nothing there, then he would just turn it up as well. Uh, one point that I would like to tell you is uh, you can run an RPO off of this, um, where if you've got the numbers over here, soft coverage here, you can run a quick – to this and that was how I originally put it in at camp but we liked what we saw so much here uh and have it had a, a power in, in a different way we thought the RPO we're just going to run power so here you can see there's our tight end there's our inline and you can see he's in the butt talks of the guard way inside And off to the races. Tight end makes the block. We got more yards, but we just miss them. But as I said earlier, stay in front of the sticks. I mean, this gains a good three, four yards. We're okay. You know, we're second and seven. We're, we're all right. We, we like what we see. Plus, you see a lot of guys in the wrong color jerseys. You see them on the ground. And they don't like that very much. It's a great view. Boom, kick, tight end comes up. If he was able to make that block, if he was able to make that block right there, we're off to it. And you can see our center left 64 get by us, uh, get by him a little. Um, but you can you notice what we're doing here. We're getting a lot of bodies on defense and just trying to power them down because it's going to be a long game but we do a pretty good job kicking and getting up field.
end zone look. See all the movement you get, the double teams. Sorry, get lots and lots of movement here. Remember I told you sometimes they'll, they rick off and you'll end up getting two guys on a backer. But those guys right here, that's our guards, uh, the two 300 pound kids. This guy's 320 and this guy's 310 and they've got him. So he's gonna move. Um, we do a great kick out here. You can see our tight end right here. He's starting to come. This is our tackle. Blocking him out. So we do a really good job of double teaming. Getting off to this backer. These two are going to double team, but see how he's, he's kind of outside shade here. So he's just going to give him a little bit of a, an arm bar. We're going to get to the inside here. And then we're going to get up to backer, get up to backer. He does a great job on this gentleman. Our Wing back kicks this guy out. Our tight end comes through and touchdown. And you see that hole? And we ran this a ton, but you can see the movement you get. And I do love how our wing here, he wasn't looking for the, we, we, you know, we tried to implement, tried to teach them to instill in them that you don't need to have the smack, the just absolutely annihilation block. You just got to wall him um, to keep him from getting to our back because it's a little bit, you know, it kind of feels like a draw in so many ways because um, we're waiting and waiting and, and then the kick out comes and, it just, uh, or we're not waiting, but we're just slowly, when we start our feet going forward with the back, it's a slower um, movement and to give that uh, wing back time to cross the face and, and kick out here. But we do uh, make sure that he's taught that he doesn't need a big kill block. He just needs to get him walled so we can get by him. And you can see, I think 68 actually gets a little bit of a hand on our running back, but he's not able to do anything about it. You love it when the big 300 pounders are rolling around everywhere. This is against a 2A school, which is two levels above us. Um, two levels above us in classification. They're out of the Spokane area, outside of the Spokane area. They're over by Washington. It's the Pullman is the name of the school, but uh, this was yo-yo. I mean, this is hat on hats. Everything looks really good. This is the, when we get to the other view, you'll see it a lot better. Um, but once again, we have our tight end. Our, so this is over yo-yo. So we have our tight end and our inline back up in here. Um, we're going to get this kick. Excuse me, we're going to come up. We're leaving the end alone. We're double teaming the backer, double teaming the backer, getting to the inside and working our way up. Uh, this was our 210 pound three back. He did get hurt this game. Um, and uh, we put in the uh, his, his reserve, his backup, I guess you'd call it. Um, and he ended up in six games, seven games running for over 1,200 yards. This guy here, He's just a big beast, and and uh, you got to bring, you got to make business decisions when you tackle him. But even with a big, you know, mutter pound of of the ground type of kid, you can still run power, and you're going to get successful, you know, three, four, five yard runs. Um, in this case, right here, he breaks it, and it's pretty cool. But you see how that tight end comes into your screen here real late. Right there, that's our tight end. So we've kicked out, our tight ends come up, and now you, you can see that our, our uh, we got our gentleman blocked here, and then here comes the, the safety to fill, and we've got this pull uh, by the tight end coming, and it just worked really, really well. And they all look to wall off. We teach our backs, as I'm sure all of you do, is to follow the butt of the blocker in front of you, and you can see that. 
Our tight end breaks down really well right here, breaks down and walls him off. This is our um, the staple play for us that we put in this year, and it worked really, really well. And it gave power a different canvas. It made power look different. Because the great thing about it is you can run power both ways. So I wanted to show you, see all the double teams that are coming here. Hats on hats, everybody's low. Our wing backs running. Here's our tight end coming. And you can see the hole that's been developed. You can see how the tackle ripped off and it came off of his block, off of his double team. We're still getting movement here. Our big guard on the backside got across the face. Everything's moving well. This gentleman right here is covering what we have, a little out route here, um, and he's going to go jump that. As you can see, gets his eyes off of the play, and then our X comes and stays inside of this, and then our tight end end up comes and blocks this safety. Really good play.